Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to be looking at nonfiction text features. Again, remember, nonfiction means not fake. So these text features come in books that are about real things and facts. So the title. The title, hang on, I'm making sure I'm doing what I need to do here. Oh. Okay. So the title identifies the topic of the text slash tells what the text will be about. So that basically means it tells you what the topic or the main idea or the, the main thing they want you to learn about. So here's an example in red, bones and more bones. So that would be the title of this selection, this text. Table of contents, table of contents. This tells the names of chapters and what page the chapters can be found. Now it's not gonna always be chapters. Sometimes it might just be sections or topics in the book. So bones can be found on page three, muscles found on page 17, skin starts on page 28, brain and nerves starts on page 42, major organs starts on page 57, and you get it, I think. So one thing to note is bones starts on page three. It continues to the next thing. So bones would be pages three through the number that comes before 17, so that's 16. So 3 through 16 would be the bones section. Index. This tells on what pages the reader can find certain topics. This is in the back of the book, and it's going to be in alphabetical order, not in the order of which it appears in the book. So as you can see, they start with the A's, and each topic has a corresponding page number. So if we wanted to look at belly button, what page would we go to in the book? Find belly button. They're in alphabetical order. What page? 28, right there. Yep. All right, the glossary. This tells the definitions of some of the words found in the text. It's kind of like the dictionary that supports the important words of the text. So as you can see, they look different, and they're usually going to look different in the text. And it tells us the definition. Now, what's the definition of a word? It's simple. It's just some words that explain what, what it means. So shin, the front of the leg bone that runs from the knee to the ankle. So that just explains what a shin is. That's what a definition is. Just explains what that word means. All right, this is a photograph. You've all seen photographs. It shows what something looks like, and it's taken with a camera. So a photo or a photograph is taken with a camera. This is a picture of a hand. This is a picture taken with a camera of a hand. It's actual human being's hand. Now, this is an illustration of a hand. It shows what something looks like, but it's drawn by an artist instead of being taken with a camera. So, photograph taken with a camera. Illustration drawn by an artist. An illustration should be a term that you're familiar with because every book that we read aloud in class usually has illustrations. Caption explains what a photographer or illustration is about. So here is the brain, and that's an illustration of the brain. And then this is a side view of a human brain. Bold print shows what words are important. Well, I just wanted to go back and say this tells more information about the picture. Bold print shows what words are important or what words can be found in the glossary. So remember, the bold words are going to be thicker and darker.